Welcome to the Canon installation video for the model IPF 700 series printer. This video tutorial will demonstrate the basic setup procedures for the IPF 700 series printer. Each of the steps is illustrated in the printed quick start guide that is packed inside the carton. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to properly unpack the printer, assemble the stand, and attach the printer to the stand. Do not tear open the cartons. Simply cut any tape or straps on the outside and lift off the carton. To assemble the stand for the IPF 700 series printer, carefully open the carton and remove the left and right stands along with the stand stay. The stand assembly may require two people. Position the left and right stands so that the basket fasteners are on the inside toward the front. Hold the stands and carefully slide the stand stay down into the grooves until it stops. Use the wrench to tighten the hex screws on the top and bottom of both ends to secure the stand stay and legs. Insert the basket rods into the holes on the basket fasteners and secure the rods using a basket bolt and nut on each side. Next, slide basket rod number two into the front holes of the output stacker with the white tag positioned in the front right corner and the basket fasteners toward the back. The output stacker rods will then be attached to the basket rods in the front and snapped into place. Now insert a basket holder in the back on each side into the holes provided and attach the basket fasteners onto the holders and the stand stay. Now you're ready to place the printer onto the stand. Be sure to lock the front casters for added stability. Remove all packing materials from the printer and position one person at each end of the unit. A third person could be used to lift from the center if needed. Carefully lift the printer from the carton while holding it level. Align the legs of the printer with the round holes on the stand as you set the printer carefully into place. Then, use the Allen wrench that was provided to tighten the two main unit securing bolts on each side of the printer. Now, remove any remaining tape on the outside of the printer. Open the top cover and release the back lever, which will allow you to remove the protective sheet from the platen. Pull the lever forward, close the cover, and finish removing any tape from the outside areas. Once the packing materials have been removed, the next step will be to install the printhead. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate the proper way to install the printhead on the IPF 700 series printer. These steps are also covered in the printed quick start guide. With the power cable plugged in, press the power button to turn the printer on. Screen prompts will guide you through the complete setup process, starting with a message telling you to open the top cover. Open the cover and the prompts will instruct you to lift the carriage cover. Pull the print head fixer lever forward and lift the print head fixer cover. Remove the print head packet from the carton and holding it upright, carefully tear open the packet. Remove the print head completely from the packing and hold it carefully by the grips. While holding firmly, remove the orange safety caps from the print head. Never touch the ink supply section or the nozzles and be careful not to shake or drop the printhead. With the nozzles facing down and the metal contacts toward the back, insert the printhead into the carriage and press carefully but firmly into place. Pull down the printhead fixer cover, the printhead fixer lever, and the carriage cover and lock the printhead firmly in place. The printhead installation is now complete and you can close the top cover. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to install the ink tanks on the Canon IPF 700 series printer. These procedures are also covered in the printed quick start guide. If you have just completed installation of the printhead, the screen will prompt you to open the ink tank cover 
and we'll walk you through the ink tank installation process. First, open the ink tank cover and open each of the lock levers on the tank holders by pressing down on the tip of each lever to release it. There are six ink tanks, each color coded to match the proper holder. Each of the ink tanks is in a sealed pouch. Start by agitating the ink tank pouch by slowly turning your wrist back and forth several times. Do not shake the ink tank aggressively. Shaking could cause the ink to sediment, which could affect printing quality. After gently agitating the ink, open the packet and carefully remove the ink tank cartridge. Place it into the proper color-coded holder, close the lever, and lock into place. Do not touch the ink holes or metal contacts on the ink tanks. An ink lamp on each holder will glow red when a new ink tank is installed. The red light will flash when an ink tank is low on ink. Once all of the ink tanks have been installed, close the cover and wait for the system to automatically replenish itself with ink, which takes about 20 minutes. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate the proper procedure for loading a roll of paper into the IPF 700 series printer. This procedure is also covered in the printed quick start guide. If you are setting up a new printer, this procedure will follow the installation of the ink tanks. First, remove the roll holder from the back of the printer. Unlock and slide the holder stopper off the roll holder. Slide the roll paper onto the shaft of the roll holder, making sure the paper will unroll clockwise over the top. Press the paper roll firmly against the flange of the roll holder. There should be no gap between the roll and the flange. Any gap could cause feeding problems. Now, replace the holder stopper on the other end. Push firmly against the roll with no gap in between, and press the lock lever to firmly secure the holder stopper to the roll holder. Insert the roll holder shaft into the guide grooves of the roll holder slot, pull back on the release lever, and pull the roll paper out evenly on both ends. Insert the edge into the paper feed slot and advance the paper by hand. Be careful not to soil the printing surface of the roll paper as you pull it out. If the paper is wrinkled or warped, straighten it prior to loading. Now, open the top cover. Pull the leading edge of the roll paper gently and align it with the paper alignment line. Do not force the roll paper into alignment. This may prevent the paper from advancing properly through the printer. Once the paper is aligned properly, Close the release lever and then close the top cover. The prompt will now display a menu of paper types. Select the correct paper type and press OK. The printer will now go through a printhead alignment process, which takes approximately 10 minutes to complete. When the printhead alignment is finished, a message is shown on the display screen indicating the printer is now online. One last step is the easy-to-change maintenance cartridge. To replace the maintenance cartridge, simply open the cartridge door, pull the cassette slightly forward using the handle, and gently remove the tray. Insert the new maintenance cartridge by simply sliding it back into place, pressing forward to lock, and closing the cartridge door. That concludes the general setup procedures of the Canon IPF 700 series large format printer.